Um, obviously, uh, you know, Nick was that quarterback uh, the last couple of years. You had Levi up front. You know, graduated a number of talented players. But what do you guys do now to kind of uh, put your stamp on this football team as we enter 2019? We're just going to have to rebuild. I mean, we got a whole bunch of raw kids coming in. Like, I know a lot of them personally, and then I know what they're capable of doing. They need to get to the weight room. They need to get bigger if they're going to fill those roles that are gone now, like Levi and the rest of the guys up front. You know, it wasn't all that long ago that Central Noble's football program was winning zero, one, two games a season. The last two years, you guys have really turned it around. Um, so how do you keep that momentum going, and what's the key? You just you have to want it. you got to put your heart and soul into it and just give it all you got. Uh, NECC title, I know, is uh, something that every team in the conference wants. Uh, what are some of the keys to winning that championship and what do you know about uh, playing Friday in and Friday out that will allow you to have that type of success? Just when, when stuff hits the fan, just keep your head up. Always keep pushing. Don't look to the week before if something bad happened. Just always keep your head up and keep pushing. What do you like about Central Noble in the offseason? Um, just everyone in the weight room getting better, always wanting to get better, all the coaches being there to help you improve, just being there like role models and mentors and everything else. Quarterback, the leader of the offense, uh, tell me about this offense. Who are some of the guys that are stepping into bigger roles, and, and what do you like about this team offensively? So it's just everybody, everyone's real fun to be around. Everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody's had experience before at the spots they're playing. Um, someone's going to be real fun to watch this year is going to be Sawyer Yoder at the wide receiver spot, and then Jarrett Hawk and Noah Christopher at the running back spot, and then Tyler Lawson at the wing, and then, yeah. Perfect, my man. I appreciate it. Good luck. Mentioning, um, obviously, you know, Levi's graduated, Nick's graduated, a number of guys that have played a lot of snaps for Central Noble have graduated. How do you go about filling those roles, and how excited are you to kind of help put your stamp on this football team? Uh, we just have like a lot of uh, young classmen stepping up and uh, really working on this offseason and doing their best to help us win. What have you liked about uh, Central Noble in the offseason that's going to hopefully pay off in 2019? Uh, we just got a new coach, Coach Kilgore, and uh, he's really helping us um, kind of grind harder and uh, just helping. Coach Mo got the momentum going. Uh, Coach Shipton carried it on last year. How do you keep what is a, a kind of a newfound winning tradition going for Central Noble? Uh, you just got to work hard, um, push each other to be best you can be. Tell me about this defense. What do you like about this defense? Who are some of the guys going to be stepping up defensively? Uh, we just got a new kid. He's uh, giving me a senior. His name's Chase. Uh, he's playing uh, strong safety for us. He's doing pretty good. And um, new linebackers. What are you most looking forward to about 2019? Obviously, uh, you're looking to carry on the success you guys have had the last couple of years. Really just want to win games. What's the biggest key to you guys continuing that? Everyone <laughs> working hard. That's the same thing I've been saying. All right. Perfect one, man. Thank you. Second season in your second stint as the head coach at Central Noble. Coach Mo kind of got things rolling in the right direction. You kind of picked up where he left off. How do you keep the momentum going at Central Noble? Well, that's what we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, it started in the weight room. That was one of the things that uh, Coach Mo brought in and instilled, and we've been doing that well. But just the recruiting to getting kids out for the program has been uh, always a challenge, but uh, that's been helping uh, getting more numbers out as well. So we just uh, have to reload this year and hopefully keep it going. Yeah, uh, speaking of reloading, you know, Nick graduates, a lot of snaps at quarterback. Uh, Levi, a lot of snaps everywhere, one of the best linemen in your conference. Uh, just those two guys and a lot of seniors in general, how do you replace those guys? Who are some of the guys that are going to step up and take bigger roles for Central Noble in 2019? Well, that's the difficult thing. When you had a, you know, We had 14 seniors last year, and they all were starters. And so my juniors last year, who are now seniors, did a lot of watching from the sidelines. But uh, some of them played JV, but some of them also had good mentors you know, in front of them, so they taught them well. And so what we, you know, it's their time to shine. Jared Trowbridge, uh, you just spoke with our quarterback, and he's getting the opportunity. Jared's sort of in an unusual situation. He started as a freshman as our quarterback, and then uh, when Nick came in, Nick beat him out, and so he's been sitting and watching for the last two years from the sidelines. But uh, So he's ready, again, to get back into that position. So. Uh, you know, we've just have a lot of seniors this year who are ready to, and they're hungry to, you know, add and continue on the football tradition. What have you seen in the off season that has you, you know, smiling as you enter 2019? 
Well, we, we've done some seven on sevens, and uh, we throw the ball fairly well. But you know, that's not necessarily my forte. But uh, <laughs> sometimes we just have to do what we have to do best. And so, uh, if it's throwing the ball this year, uh, we'll do that. We've got a couple of really good receivers. Uh, Sawyer uh, Yoder is uh, returning. He had a great season for us last year. Then we picked up his kid, uh, who's a senior, uh, Chase Weber. He'd been a baseball player all of his life, but we talked him into coming out for football. He's about six four, you know, big lengthy athlete, and so we do have a couple couple nice, nice uh, receiving people. As far as this offense goes, uh, you kind of a, a new quarterback, but as you mentioned, a quarterback that has experience. Uh, what are you doing offensively? Do you change anything with a change like that or with graduation, or are you staying pretty much uh, with what you did last year? Because you mentioned you don't necessarily love throwing the ball a lot. Uh, well, it's not my style, but <laughs> at the same time, you know, I think every coach needs to adapt to his talent and what ability he has. And so and that's what we'll do. Uh, we've got some, you know, athletic kids out there that we're going to try to get the most mileage out of. And so I, I think, you know, I still change, I, I still keep with my same mindset, but just add the right plays in that takes advantage of those kids' athleticism. Perfect. I appreciate it, Coach. Uh,